To make a living, communities all around the world depend on gathering some of the rarest known fibers. For most, though, it's a difficult effort. Some rare and expensive materials, such lotus silk and vicuña wool, can cost more than gold. Here's how some of the most costly fabrics in the world are created, from lace masters in northern France to herding villages in the mountains of Bolivia. 1. Vanka Wool It is worth $370 to buy a kilogram of this vicuña wool here in northern Bolivia. Vicuña wool is the most costly textile in the world because it is extremely fine and hard to get. Vicuñas are not domesticable because of conservation efforts, and herding tribes in the Apolobamba mountain region are only able to shear them once every two years. A month in preparation, the entire community starts getting ready to capture the herd. Apart from tracking and keeping an eye on the herd, they also need to construct herding equipment that will enable a group of motorcycle riders to herd the vicuña into a pen. Because the packs are dispersed, this is the most challenging portion of the work. The vicuñas can be sheared once they have been thoroughly gripped. For collection, their fur needs to be at least 2.5 centimeters long. After being sheared, they are examined for health issues and then allowed to return to the wild. Three kinds of fiber are available in Bolivia, precarding, clean, and raw fiber. The priciest fiber is precarding, as it necessitates a labor-intensive procedure to hand extract the fleece's bristles. It takes a whole day to precard one or two fleeces. Following that, over 90% of it is exported to Italy, with the remaining portion going to other nations for additional processing. 2. Lotus Silk One of the rarest textiles in the world, Lotus Silk is only manufactured in small quantities in Vietnam, Burma, and Cambodia. It can take two months to extract enough Lotus Silk for one scarf, and the finished product can cost 10 times as much as ordinary silk. Though Lotus Silk is made differently, silkworms are often the source of silk, the stem of the lotus flower is where all lotus silk threads begin, and each and every thread needs to be manually plucked. Only a few highly experienced artisans worldwide are able to extract this natural fiber. The silk within can be removed when the stem has been carefully chosen and picked by hand. Tiny stick fibers that must be rolled together and dried are present in each stem. The threads must be treated while still wet within 24 hours to prevent breaking. Therefore, harvesting needs to be done each day. Furthermore, you can only pick lotus plants from April to October. These threads are meticulously hand-spooled and weighed down once they have dried. They are then inserted into the loam. Although the fibers are incredibly fragile, they can be just as robust when woven as regular silk. The fabric is slightly stretchy, airy like linen, and soft as silk. Scarves measuring 25 centimeters can fetch a price of little more than $200. 3. Real Eiderdown one of the warmest natural fibers available is real eiderdown, but it's not inexpensive. A double duvet made of eiderdown may set you back over $8,000. Eiderdown is more robust, insulating, and denser than ordinary goose or duck down. The Icelandic wild eider ducks nests are the source of this fiber. Because eider nests are hard to come by, gathering even a kilogram of this fluffy stuff is a laborious task. The female eider ducks use them naturally shed down to construct their nests during the breeding season. In small boats, eider down collectors navigate between 150 islets to locate each nest and manually gather them. The nests are hard to locate since they are dispersed and occasionally hidden. There are only 15 grams of down in each one. The labor is far from done once the down is harvested. Larger feathers, seaweed, and sticks can make up as much as 80% of the harvest's weight. These components must be removed. The feathers are sorted using an oven and many custom-built devices that extract the trash. After that, each feather is painstakingly cleaned and sorted by hand. One kilogram requires four to five hours to pick through. After each feather is extracted by hand, the down is given one final wash, pressing, and drying. In Iceland, eider ducks are subject to tight protection. Hunting them or selling their eggs is prohibited in Iceland, and each and every Eiderdown product must pass an inspection to ensure it meets quality standards. 4. French Lever's Lace Among the most expensive and elaborate lace varieties available is French Lever's Lace. On a Lever's Loam, more than 15,000 separate threads are stitched together. Producing a fresh design might take up to three months, and a square meter can cost more than $500. These punch cards are made from paper with each design translated onto them, and the loam uses them to produce patterns. 
The loans are necessary for making levers lace because of their extraordinary precision. However, as they are no longer manufactured and just a small number remain, businesses must take care of the ones they already have. This one is more than a century old. Levers lace may be woven by a machine, but it still requires the labor of about 20 workers. An expert is needed for every step. Workers add more threads to the loom as it weaves an intricate design, line by line. The tillists, or loom specialists, are in charge of supervising the entire weaving procedure. While the machine works, they keep an eye out for any tears, listen for them, and fix them. There are also lace inspectors who meticulously examine each strand of lace to look for errors and perform handmade, indiscernible repairs. One particular stage requires at least five years to master, therefore it's difficult to locate individuals with this level of experience. Levers lace dresses and lingerie often cost a few hundred dollars at most, and goods from luxury names like Chanel and Ralph Lauren can fetch much higher prices. While a standard pair of blue jeans might not cost much, these gold label Mamataro jeans will cost you around $2,000. That's partially because, as opposed to synthetic colors, it's hand dyed with actual indigo. Nowadays, most jeans are manufactured. The craftsman will need one to two months to fully indigo blue dye these threads. The denim will then keep its deep hue for an extended period of time. The price of a kilogram of synthetic indigo can range from $4 to $5. Ten times that amount could be spent on natural indigo, depending on quality. Mamataro pays roughly $1,200 for each bale. Additionally, only roughly 15 pairs of jeans can be dyed with one bale. A hint of yellow in natural dye can gently alter the blue tones, producing an effect that is not possible with synthetic indigo. Natural dyes have mostly been supplanted by less expensive synthetic dyes in today's market, thus jeans created with natural dyes are still frequently valued as high-end items. Furthermore, the feel of this denim is very different. It's not as stiff as regular denim. That's because an antique loam is used to create it by hand. Weaving just 10 centimeters of cloth takes an hour. After that, a thorough quality control procedure is followed. Cashmere. One of the most sought after textiles in the world is cashmere. It may be woven into extraordinarily soft, opulent, and durable clothing. Purchasing a real cashmere jumper may set you back more than $500. The cashmere goat, native to the Himalayas, where temperatures can plummet to minus 30 degrees, is the source of the fiber. I hope you like this video. If really then make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for more videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Stay tuned with us for more videos.